Hello, and welcome to another edition of Between the Two Apps. I'm your host, Tom Price. And with us today, we have a faculty member from the Computer and Information Sciences Department, Sally Kivernitas, who is also the faculty advisor for computer science majors. Thanks so much for joining us today, Sally. Thank you, Tom. So where did you grow up, Sally? I was born and raised in a little place called Meadville, Pennsylvania, which is two hours north of Pittsburgh and an hour south of Erie. Oh, wow. And um, what kind of activities did you do as a kid? I did a lot of water stuff because we had a place on the lake. And so swimming and boating and water skiing. Um, and I, when I was a kid, I was pretty busy in Girl Scouts and youth group at the church and debate team and chess club, although I never won debates and I always lost at chess, but it kept me busy. Cool. And um, do you have any siblings? I do. Um, my parents had seven children and I'm number seven. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. I didn't my know mom that. was Catholic. <laughs> So you had a lot of older brothers and sisters to show you the path. Yep, yep. They all went to Duke except for one. I went to Duke and, and uh, all of the other ones except for one went to Duke oh, University. Man, that's awesome. mm -hmm. so, so how did you end up at Duke? Just that was the legacy. Everybody went to Duke. So you didn't really have much choice or? My mother had an ex-boyfriend that went to Duke. So the first one went to Duke and then all the rest went to Duke pretty much. Wow. I, they, Duke actually has a, um, a big American dance festival every summer. So I've been to Duke a few times for, for that event. Yeah. Um, did you start off with an interest in computer science as a college student? Actually, um, I started to become interested in computer science when I was in high school. And um, I don't want to age myself, but that was in 1974. Oh, wow. And, um, my math teacher gave up a sabbatical to buy a mini computer. And it was, you know, probably equivalent to, you know, a very small computer, but at the mm -hmm. time it was a big deal. And I was writing programs in the back of the room that were actually um, doing my, my music assignments. I, I would be given a, um, a melody and I had to uh, put the chords below it. And I wrote a program to do that for me. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. And so um, to, talk to me about your undergraduate experience. Did you have any sort of influential faculty members that helped shape your path? Well, um, I was I was pretty strong into music. I probably should have listed music earlier. Um, cello, saxophone, piano, voice. And um, <clears throat> when I went to Duke University, the computer science major was a brand new major in mm -hmm. 1975. Mm -hmm. And um, if you wanted to major in computer science, they made you almost do like a double major. Looking back on it now that I'm a faculty member, I realized they were doing that be probably because they didn't have enough computer science courses to offer people. But you had to take like six and six kind of thing, you know, to okay. major. And so I did music and computer science. Um, you asked about a faculty member. Uh, the first course I took in computer science at Duke, I aced because I already knew how to program. But the second one was a course in assembly language. And it was very difficult to debug. You couldn't really print things out very well. And I couldn't get my program to work. And I went to the faculty member and I said, I want to drop computer science. And he says, why? Mm -hmm. Like, I can't get my program to work. Well, what's wrong with it? And they fixed it. And then um, my husband, my pers the person who's now my husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, he said, um, you know, he always wanted to major in computer science, but he didn't, you know, he wasn't cut out for it. So he encouraged me. So between that professor and my husband, um, they, they, they helped me to stick it out. Awesome. That's great. And what, how did you end up at Temple University? Well, um, my, my husband is from Cyprus. So after, um, mm -hmm. after we both got our master's degrees, we went and lived in Cyprus for five years. And while we were over there, he got a job offer to come to Philadelphia to work for Fidelity Bank. So uh, at that time, I had three children aged three, four, and five. Oh, my gosh. And uh, or wait, maybe three, four, and six. And um, mm -hmm. so I decided I was going to look for a job in teaching because it would work out well, you know, that I had the kids. So I just did like a research thing. I said, what are the good colleges in the area? And I sent out my resume to all the colleges I thought were good. And um, I got hired by Frank Friedman, who was the chairman at the time. Awesome. That's so, oh, what a great story. Um, 
I'm interested in hearing a little bit more about your your time in Cyprus. So you, you when did you, you went to Cyprus after you both earned your master's degrees? Yep, yep. Um, I already had a baby by then, my first child. And I went to Cyprus and um, of course I had computer skills. And over there, that, that was the time of like the Apple IIe, you know, where you would put the diskette in mm -hmm. and run your programs that way. Um, so I got a job as a programmer um, from some like small family owned business and they paid me a pound an hour, which was worth like $3. Uh, but I was happy to get out of the house mm -hmm. <laughs> and do coding, which I enjoy. Cool. So what, um, talk about what your life is like now uh, as a temple professor. What do you teach? What do you do in an advising capacity? So I'm, I'm the faculty advisor for computer science majors. And as you are very well being the director of CST advising, <laughs> your group, um, you know, really uh, fulfills the brunt of the advising and the sort of overall advising and clears people to graduate. But I'm, I'm there for to answer questions that students may have about um, que questions about courses in their major or you know trouble with a course or anything like that. Um, I've been the computer science faculty advisor, I think since 2008, so it's been a while. Mm -hmm. and, um, and besides doing the faculty advising, I teach web development courses. And I would say that um, web development is my passion. I really love it. And if you ever Google Sally K Temple, you'll see my website that is like filled with stuff. My students are like, oh my God, so much. Um, but anyway, I love it. And I hope that, uh, that, that they learn to love it too. And I know a lot of my students have emailed me after they graduate saying that um, the, they got a job because of their skills that they learned in my web development classes. So that makes me feel like it's all worth it. Cool. Um, what are, what are, what do you, I, I don't want to say like most, but what do you enjoy about um, teaching Temple students? Well, they are very hardworking for the most part. And, um, you know, the, and those that aren't necessarily hardworking probably have a good reason, like they're working too many hours or mm -hmm. they're taking too many credits. Um, of course, I'm also a, an advisor. So when I run into a student who's not doing too well, you know, I sort of ask, ask like an advisor, well, how many hours are you working? How many credits are you taking? Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, I, I love working with Temple students. And, and Temple, I, actually, I don't know why, but I just Googled um, Temple CS and they, oh, oh no, I think the question I Googled that came up, well, how good is Temple CS? And they said they're like in the top 100 or something. So, you know, to get a computer science degree from Temple is really valuable, really worth something. And we have a lot of employers that recognize that and work with us. So I'm, I'm not trying to PR Temple, but you know, that's my opinion. <laughs> oh, so I want to shift gears a little bit. Um, what do you enjoy most about your friends? My friends. Well, um, by the <laughs> by the time I'm done building my uh, humongous website and uh, and babysitting my grandchildren every other weekend, mm -hmm. and I've got three adult children that are in the area. My daughter's boyfriend mm -hmm. just bought a car wash, and they're busy over there. My oldest son's a web developer, moved to D.C., and my husband's a banker and works long hours. So, um, you know, I, I I find that I'm really pretty booked up just with my family and mm -hmm. uh you know and and my friends have after the pandemic's over i'm sure i'll be seeing more of them mm -hmm. and so you have a pretty full life um but what do you do to unwind or relax netflix like netflix so what do you watch on netflix oh right now i'm watching heartland and i love it heartland cool. i i would i never would have thought that this would have been <laughs> interesting because it's all about these people who raise horses in alberta canada and, mm -hmm. and you would think what in the world goes on in that place that's interesting but it, I, i'm sucked into it i'm halfway through 13 seasons cool um what are you currently reading nothing no but i am playing <laughs> online chess oh cool you, yeah. have you watched the the netflix chess uh what is it queen's king bit yeah, 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 I watched that. But, you know, some people might have started playing chess because of that. But I started playing chess because my seven-year-old grandson was beating me, so. Awesome. Well, that's not awesome, but that is awesome. <laughs> awesome, for awesome for him. For you, but awesome for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. cool. Um, uh, what are you looking forward to post-pandemic Philadelphia? 
Oh man, uh, we were planning to go to Cyprus where my husband is from and we have oh, a lot of yeah. connections over there. We lived there for five years um, in mm -hmm. our early marriage, um, but our we canceled our trip and now I've got a voucher. I'm, I'm waiting for those mm -hmm. things to open cool. up and go to Cyprus and swim in the Mediterranean and oh, see nice. friends and family. Cool. So we're going to do something called the rapid fire response. I'll give you two words. You just state your preference. Um, tea or coffee? Hot chocolate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I listened to you do other people and I thought, what would you do if I said hush? I really do oh. love coffee. <laughs> morning or night? Uh, morning, 100%. Dark or milk chocolate? Um, neither. Offense or defense? Defense. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Bert or Ernie? Bert. Half full or half empty? Half full, hopefully. Hot or cold? Hot. Awesome. Thanks so much for being on the show today, Sally. It's been great chatting with you.